All right, well, Panettone was started in Milan around the 15th century, and basically the legend of the Panettone is that a uh, baker named Tony, he was going out with this uh, noble woman, and so for him to impress her father, he took this uh, bread dough made with a natural yeast starter and embellished it with uh, butter and raisins and candied fruit and uh, baked it in this, in this big shape and then presented it to her father, and her father was so impressed that they accepted him into the family. I learned to make panettone in Italy um, in around 1983. Um, I apprenticed um, in Milan at Pasticceria Piave, which was one of the most famous pastry shops in Italy at that time. One of the reasons I went to Italy is I really wanted to learn how to make panettone the way they did in Italy. But the secret was is that it was made with natu this natural yeast starter, which you know nobody knew how to do in San Francisco. This knowledge was passed down to me, and I was also given a piece of this famous uh, natural yeast starter. The panettone process starts with uh, il levito naturale, or the, the, the levito madre, which is the, actually the mother dough, which is basically flour, water, and the natural yeast that you find in the air. I brought my starter from Italy, you know, 30 years ago. It's wrapped up in a um, nylon or cotton towel and then tied together with a string, which keeps it under pressure, and that keeps the natural yeast starter from getting sour or acidic. So every time you work with a mother, you're always refreshing it and saving one piece for the next day. That's what actually creates the panettone or a natural yeast leaven product. I'm gonna refresh the starter three times. At that point, I put that in the machine and I'm gonna mix water, sugar, butter, and the starter, and egg yolks. And that's gonna be what they call the prima impasto or the first dough. That dough makes it for about a half an hour in the double arm mixer, and it's gonna rise overnight till it triples in volume. At that point, I put it back into the machine, and I'm gonna add, again, flour, more butter, more sugar, salt, and the panettone essence, the flavoring, which is like an orange floral water. Once the panettone is developed, about 30 minutes, I'm then gonna add the candied fruit and the raisins and the citron. We put it onto the table let it rest for a half an hour, and then we're gonna start scaling the pieces. We give them a half kind of round, put them on wooden boards and put them in the proof box. They stay in the proof box for about two hours, then the panettone is brought outside to rest for another hour at room temperature till it kind of cools off, and at that point we're gonna start shaping the panettone. So the panettone are put into these um, special paper baking molds that come from uh, northern Italy, Lake Coma, the factory is called Novacard. You round the panettone, then place it into the cup. Once all the panettone have been put in the cups, they're rolled back into the proof room where they'll stay for about four, four and a half hours. When they've about doubled in volume, we'll pull them out of the proof box. They'll sit outside for about one hour to wrap them with a special paper around the outside, which will give it a little bit more lift. You take a razor blade, you cut the top of the panettone, you make the sign of the cross, then peel back the corners, which in Italy they call the ears, brush it with a little liquefied butter. We put them in the oven around 400 degrees. A kilo panettone takes about 55 minutes to bake. At that point, they're pulled out of the oven, um, one shelf at a time, and they're put into these two long metal poles with nails on them. The nails are shoved into the bottom of the panettone, and then with two people, you flip the panettone upside down and then hang it on a rack overnight. And the reason for doing this is it's so rich in butter, and if you don't invert it, um, what happens is the height you've created in the oven uh, will basically collapse. There's been a real comeback on an artisan panettone where people all over northern Italy, but throughout Italy, are going to these small panettone masters who perfected the craft and are buying their panettone from these small pastry shops once again. You can use the best butter on the market, the best candy fruit, the best raisins, um, the best packaging, but if you don't know how to handle the natural yeast, you'll end up with a very sour product, or it won't have enough strength to move this very rich, um, leaven dough and it'll be very very heavy that's part of the beauty of, uh, of learning to make panettone just like you know it is to make cheese or wine it's a very very involved process